Oh, hello again. Welcome to the daily run. A lost daily run, this should be interesting. Let's see how far we get. This could either be a very long run or a very short one. Uh, we do start with Holy Mantle, so we've got full, full lost potential. So maybe we can make a repeat of last time we had a lost run where we got to 71st position, I think. Uh, or we could immediately die and <laughs> walk into enemies that should be ridiculously trivial to dodge for anybody but apparently me. So this particular enemy could be our undoing. It wasn't. Hooray. Uh, Curse of the Lost as well. So we have a small chance of finding the secret room. I wouldn't put much money on it at this stage of the game. Uh, a lot of these rooms could actually be a lot more difficult than anticipated. This is a burning basement. There's a lot of fire to contend with. Uh, tempted to shoot it all just to see whether we can get you know, some, some money, I suppose, at this stage. But... I, I want to go fast. We all go, <laughs> can't go all the way to Isaac like we did for that recent Eve run. Uh, if you recall the one where we played the Spirit Heart game with the Yarrow Rune and got all the Spirit Hearts in the world and still didn't do all that well. But we did teleport. So, obviously we're not going to be able to... Uh, pretty cool. We're not going to be able to teleport with the self-sacrifice room. Simple reason that we cannot self-sacrifice. Did we find the shop? I think we did. We have no keys though. Uh, it's usually a requirement for entering a shop. I don't know if you've uh, ever been in a shop, but all the ones I've ever been to have been locked with a, any, any generic key will do. Just need a key. So this is turning out alright so far. We did have a bit of a scare earlier on, but so far, unless we fight the haunt, I expect the haunt is probably going to be our undoing. It's famine. Famine should be okay. Uh, this this room for the lost is not a problem. In fact, it's possibly slightly easier. We can avoid ooh, awful damage from shots by hanging out over the rocks. Shots from the flies, of course, and famine will give us an orbital, which is going to be well... We don't necessarily want to use the orbital because it's dangerous. We have to get close to things as the lost. But when we are at the end of a room, we have the holy mantle charge still active. We could finish off the room with a lost, with a with a all of bandages or keep a meat play. So it's not completely useless, but it's a lot more dangerous as the lost than anybody else that can take a hit. Keep a meat, fine. Uh, we might as well go to the shop on the next floor. Can't imagine there's that big a difference between the two. On the other hand, I'd be interested to see people that did go to the shop on this floor and find that there's an amazing item that wins the game for everybody. So, well, it is what it is. Saddening is fine. It's a tears upgrade. I think it's also a damage downgrade. I'm not entirely sure. Here's a situation where we might want to be using the Cuban meat. On these uh, particular flies, I mean, not the room in general. Or we could just, you know, do that. Pills, we should take them. Are you a wizard? We should not take them. <laughs> Don't do what I do. I'm a fool. I'm a coward. I'm a cretin. Ha! Ha ha! I thought you could get me, but you cannot. You cur, you cad, you bounder. Let's do that. Good. And now we can go to the shop. Shop contains... I mean... Spider buddies? Spider mod's pretty cool. I guess we'll take spider mod. The option, of course, is to take... Uh, the deck of cards there. That was carry two cards and does give us one card, but I can't imagine that's going to be horrendously useful compared to Spider Mod, which not only tells you which enemy to shoot, but can occasionally cause uh, a random status effect. I'm not sure whether it involves you shooting the enemy to cause said status effect, or you know, you just uh, don't just hang around long enough. But a pin fight means that we have actually probably done. We've avoided the worst of the first two floors. So that is helpful. I'm trying to do keep the meat damage against my better judgment. Maybe I should do it when it pops up like this, yes. Uh, <laughs> just don't, don't fuck it up. No troll bomb, please. Ooh. Well, now I'm wondering whether maybe we should have... Uh, oh, God. Wondering whether we maybe should have taken deck of cards since we got uh, that, that rune there. A Dagar's rune is not much use for the lost, except for its, you know, secondary benefit of 
purging the curse. Well, whichever benefit you consider secondary, that will be the... That will be it, I suppose. So, this is bad. <laughs> We've already been hit. Just try not to get hit again. It's these, um... These cross shots. These Krampus' head shots. Kind of difficult to dodge. Because of the weird, uh... The weird hitbox on them. But we, we made it through, so we're okay. So we should probably take all of this. I'm tempted to take this pill and just hit this pill. Pheromones, fine. Dagars will purge a curse for us, so we'll keep hold of that. Whew. I'm, uh, I'm slightly nervous, slightly anxious about this. Uh, it's entirely possible that I screw something horrible up. I mean, what can I expect to get from a curse room? Maybe guppy items, I suppose. Something from this chest? A uh, decent amount of stuff from this chest. And I managed to not get hit inside the room, which is... Uh, very encouraging. A very strong play. Don't get hit inside a curse room as the loss. Oh, you can't get out. Well, unless you have algas or something like that. Anyway. Doing okay. Not dead yet. This is a very positive thing. I find that the Lost with Holy Mantle is a very playable character. It's still a challenge. But it's not, you know, a, it's not a slog. It's not a grind. It's not demotivating. Ah. Uh, Whereas, without Holy Mantle, well, we would have died on the first floor. Simple as that. Uh, we did get hit, which is not something I wanted to do. Maybe I should have paid some more attention to what was happening. But I don't like to think in those turns. I think that would be not correct. Uh, we seem to have caused pheromones and shrink shot on that particular enemy there. Interesting combination of things. Maybe Spider Mod does status effects to things nearby it. That would make sense. Yeah, it, when it walks through that, it shrank it. Do you see that? Strength. Strength is not much use to us. Now, unfortunately, we did have a Krampus fight on the first floor. Which means we don't have Devil Precedent. Which means there's a... Sm I was going to say a small chance, but there's a reasonably strong chance we're going to end up with a Angel Run. How to Jump does not help me. And I spent the key on that. Thanks, game. So, if this is an Angel Run, I guess we just... Do what we can, I suppose. But it means we're not going to get too strong over time. None of this helps us, except a bomb, but we have plenty of those. Uh, I will take the Ankh. It does give us an opportunity to come back as Blue Baby if we die. Now, historically, I'm pretty bad with Blue Baby. But Blue Baby plus Holy Mantle, I expect we'll keep Holy Mantle. Uh, I can't imagine it would be actually too bad. And we're doing a decent amount of damage just based on these health bars. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident with this run. Slightly more confident than with the Eve run that we recently managed to get a long way on and still do poorly in terms of rank. I suppose the Lost does have the benefit of flight, which is a strong... Uh, not offensive, necessarily, but it's a, it makes you very maneuverable, which makes you more likely to position yourself better, which is an offensive tactic, but it's not directly offense like damage would be or a tears of crit. Or just death's touch. So I'm going to try and go nice and quick, and I'm going to try and die against Gurdy Jr., which is worked out so far. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> okay. Just let it come towards you, and then... Oh, bollocks. Kill it. Oh. Okay, whatever. Well, we're Blue Baby now. We can't fly anymore, but we can at least take some hits against Gurdy fucking Junior. Look, apparently I am completely incapable these days of, uh, of predicting where Gurdy Junior is going to be. Used to be my superpower. I used to be quite confident against Gurdy Junior and now uh, that's all gone. <laughs> it's all gone completely out the window. Of course we have to do boss rush and hush uh, as now Blue Baby. I'm not a fan of it. Epiphoria or Epiphora is an interesting item. It increases your damage as long as you keep shooting in the same direction. Which is not always that easy to do. I believe it does, anyway. I'm also not sure how this represents itself, because our tears are not getting any bigger. It's not the same as the other one, uh, Dead Eye, which increases your damage as you manage to hit Things. I'm take Anakin's cookbook. Eh, I don't know. I mean, the D4 is no use because I really don't want to ro roll out of Holy Mantle. It's the only thing that's going to keep us going. 
Ooh. Speaking of which, we should definitely go to the curse room. Ah, perfect. Uh, I think this actually may have been a good idea to die and come back as Blue Baby. If you didn't take the Ankh, the broken Ankh, and kept hold of the Ace of Spades, well, more power to you, but I suspect that the run would be over by now. It's not hugely powerful, and it does involve some very technically correct play to keep it going, which is always true of Lost Runs. Um, and it's a semi-powerful run to begin with, but we've lost that one advantage that we had of being able to fly, but we've gained the advantage of being able to take Spirit Hearts. So it's only really a small step up. We can't take real HP, but at least we can take some HP without dying horribly. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Let's just have Isaac's Jar of Fucking Tears. No use to anybody. We can do this. Uh, this is definitely something I'm going to take. It's like Isaac's Jar of Tears, but not shit. If we could uh, maybe swing the the habit, Nun's habit, that would allow us to use oh, Tammy's head every time we get hit, which would increase our DPS if our DPS is not good enough to prevent us from getting hit. If that makes sense, I hope it does. See, this uh, this mega fight fight is going slowly. Ow! And I'm still taking damage against those particular hits. I'm trying to use the Epiphoria Epiphora advantage, but it's not working. <laughs> One more. It's just Mega More. Appear to be energy resources. Uh, what's going to happen? I want to use uh, Cuban Meat to speed this fight up, but I also don't think it's going to happen, so... I guess we'll do it as much as we can, and just hang... Oh yeah, catch the... <laughs> I seem to have forgotten my, my old tactics of dodge between the bullets instead of walking into them. Oh, never mind. Never mind, we'll get there. Careful. Okay. So just keep moving, don't let them hit you. Uh, I do have, of course, Holy Mantle every room. But only once per room, so we should really avoid taking damage if we can avoid it. Now that we can, I, I've started to, does that make sense? I feel like I've got that bit of tankiness that allows me to fuck it up and stay alive. So uh, I've, I've stopped being so harsh on myself for taking damage, and therefore I've started taking damage. That was uh, ballsy, but it worked out. I'm happy. A key would be nice. There's not too much trouble. Uh, this is a good situation to be in, because we can take that spirit heart and get three bombs. This would be good to be a curse room, but I've just put a bomb there, so it's obviously not. And I'm in secret room, not curse room. Look. I'm just happy to be alive. Anything that I say that is grammatically correct or actually makes sense, I'm going to consider a bonus. But I would like to get into the shop, so if a secret room was available to allow that, I'd appreciate it. I'm kind of surprised that that is not the secret room, considering that it basically was, except that it wasn't, if that makes sense. It had all the hallmarks of being a secret room, except for the important one whereby it wasn't the secret room. If you want to come over here and walk on this red poop, I'd be super appreciative. Yeah, no, no, no. You have to coax him to stand up, to pop up and then be out of the way when it does. Does it break the poop? It does not break the poop with its own shots, so we'll hide behind them. Oh, careful. Uh, did we already lose Holy Mantle? I didn't do that. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> I have to say that having lost Holy Mantle does not fill me with confidence as many things in this game I wants to do. Look, I was pretty sure I was in a position just now where you pop up and hit me, and yet you chose not to. Of course, the downside of uh, Blue Baby is that we have to pay for our deals with the devil, but I'm definitely taking Brimstone, you can't stop me. I would love to have taken all of that, but I didn't. Uh, we don't want pheromones, we might as well take Purity down to the next floor, just in case there's a curse, and use it anyway to get the Spirit Heart out of it. No curse, but we are on Dank Depths 1 at 13 minutes, which means we're well on target for Boss Rush, and with our uh, Brimstone and the lump of coal bonus to Brimstone, which appears to synergize these days and didn't used to. Uh, I think we've got a good chance in boss rush. Probably should be using Tammy's head now that we have Brimstone and Tammy's head. Why didn't I think of that? Right, this game is over and I've only just realised. GG. Now we just need to figure out how to scum it so that we can get beyond the cathedral. Everyone loves to see a Brimstone Tammy's head run. Even people who don't like the game like to see Brimstone Tammy's head because it just 
It just wins everything. It's the I win button of Isaac. There we go. It's been less than a minute and we've already beaten the boss. Uh, excuse me. We've already beaten the boss. Thank you. HP. I'll have to take it first because if I don't, I definitely can't take either of these. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure I don't want either of those, which is odd because those are two extremely good items. Can be in conception. Really helpful. It, uh, after several hits, you end up with a familiar for free. And, of course, more of the Void we saw on a recent run, uh, where after three seconds of holding a charge, or firing in general, it will explode into a, a ring that could cause black hearts to drop, which now I think about it, might have been worthwhile. But it does all require us to take damage. Well, okay. More of the Void, now I think about it, probably synergizes reasonably well with Brimstone, because you're always holding a charge, right? But, it would have left us with half an HP. And although we're currently ruining everything and haven't been hit yet, none of the damage we've done has been close to an enemy, so more of the Void would not have given us any HP so far, because we're too far away from the things. More of the Void would not be killing things. Right? Makes sense? Which means we'd still be on half an HP, so if we accidentally took a single hit through our Holy Mantle, which is... Uh, admittedly very unlikely, Brimstone and then Holy Mantle, we're not going to die. But I don't feel comfortable putting myself in that position. You know, there's, there's no safe word in that position. You can't get out of it. Uh, I would very much like at least one key, if that's not too much trouble. Maybe there's a key in this Tinted Rock. There's not, but there's a bomb. Well, now I feel like I should have taken... More of the void, right? Boy, do I have egg on my face. Uh, nope. We still have... That's interesting. <laughs> we still have the, the Ankh. I'm not sure what that does as Blue Baby. I mean, if we die again, do we come back again as Blue Baby, or is that it? Who knows? I don't. Well, hopefully the Devil Deal is now still open. Because if it is, we are golden. I mean, I want to go into the item room, I want to go into the shop, but we don't have to. <laughs> let's see if there's a... Let's see if there's a secret room here. No, let's see if there's a secret room down here. Maybe? Doesn't seem like a secret room. No. There could have been, but there weren't. Okay, go to the shop. Ah, I know where there might be a secret room. It'll be between here and here. Oh, no, no secret room there. Right, well, colour me surprised, but we're not getting into either of those. Very, very light on keys today, and no deal with the devil. Can't get my more of the void back, but we're still alive thanks to coming back as Blue Baby, so... I'm happy with that. I feel like a lot of people would have, though. Oh, range down. <laughs> it's going to be such a problem, being as we have infinite range. I mean, Bob's Curse is, is fine. A few extra consumables is fine, but it's not... It's not helping. I mean, really all we need to do now is just press the button every time something happens. This is some points for us. You're dead. Probably should have saved that for the next one because... Uh, maybe not. Oh, didn't one-shot it. Very, uh, very interesting. Would it's very much have expected to have one-shot both of those enemies. And I did one-shot you know, the first one, but that's because we used several brimstones at once. So, I think we've got plenty of time. I, I would not have anticipated that at the start of this run we would be leathering through as Blue Baby with Tammy's head Brimstone, but we are, so I guess that's cool. Also, Brimstone is not affected by that friggin vacuum in the middle there. Which it is brilliant. There's another one. You really want me to go self-sacrifice early, don't you? Well, I ain't gonna. Curse me that um, Tammy's head Brimstone is not gonna help versus the Hush. Brimstone itself is going to help versus the Hush, but Tammy's Head Brimstone is only going to do so much damage. Uh, once. It's a one-shot and a long fight. Where's the other one? God damn it. You guys. We're going to shop. Uh, no. Might as well take a Spirit Heart. We are Blue Baby. It's very valuable to us, although we're not taking any damage because we're amazing. So if we just go fast, <laughs> we can actually get to the boss fight before... before boss rush closes. Now, it's interesting that I try to go fast through these floors normally. And now that we're extremely fast, I'm still wondering whether we can do it. You know, we've got half... Uh, probably a minute 
before we have to be in the ooh, the mom fight. But because I haven't found the item room yet, I'm going exploring. Why? Why? You don't need the item. You're amazing. You're perfect. Oh, I'm glad I came. This will heal us over time. As enemies just relentlessly drop spirit hearts. Well, black hearts. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, our, our holy mantle is not going to charge during boss rush, and our Tammy's head is. So... <laughs> just one shot, Mum. I could have been in here like an hour, like with a second left, literally a second left. Uh, I guess we take hot bombs. Sagittarius does us nothing. Well, it gives us a speed upgrade. As long as we can uh, one shot the bosses with Tammy's head, Tammy's head brimstone, then we're golden. And that was a perfect time, in fact, to to get ourselves a battery charge. So apparently, we can't one shot wards. Suggest we're not going to be able to one-shot anything that has multiple stages. Uh, there's an angel over here. But the angel's dead. All right. Then. This is going super fast. We won't finish it before 20 minutes, which is upsetting because I like to finish boss rush before we should have been in boss rush. But no, oh, I missed. You see, we can see how different different uh, the brimstone is when we're not using Tammy's head to do it, and that was just bad damage. It's fine. I was kind of expecting more out of Serpent's Kiss, if I'm being honest. Are you dead? You're dead. Okay. Right, so now we stand here and press that button. Yeah, this one, although I miss completely. Oh, you can actually completely one shot that as well. That's interesting. Look, we're learning a lot about things I thought I already understood, so there's that. Uh, yeah, just stand there, perfect. Well, why don't we use the permanent Polaroid invincibility whilst we have it? This is turning out to be an awkward fight. Not a fan of that. That one's dead. That's a red heart, which is not what I want. At least Tammy's head brimstone is one-shotting things that it actually hits. It's just a matter of actually hitting. It's turning out not to be as easy as you'd expect. Well, thanks for uh, leaving the field just as I was dealing damage to you. I'm taking a few hits, actually. I think I'm just being cocky, I guess. I mean, we don't have to go as fast as I'm trying to go. Whew. Right, what's our plan for the future? We might as well talk about the future whilst the president is under control. The president, whilst the president is under control. There's a lot of red hearts on the ground. Don't, don't really... Not a fan of that. Our plan for the future is... Don't die. Try and wait as long as possible before... committing to a sacrifice room. But we definitely want to go past the cathedral. Hopefully we can get the same thing we did on the Eve run, where we got uh, a sacrifice room on the cathedral. Wow, this is not a good room. <laughs> we need to take a damage upgrade, because we're not really... We're not owning every room that Tammy's head doesn't clear. Uh, I mean, it's not imperative, obviously. Two of clubs will just take. But rooms like this, for example. Rooms with bosses in, that sort of thing. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Fuck you, fate. Ah, that's what I want. Thank you. And a luck upgrade to help too. Oh, I would very much like Spoonbender. Because we've seen Brimstone with homing shots. We don't need to justify wanting Spoonbender with Brimstone. Uh, ooh. Teleport card. Does that help? Maybe. Probably not. We do have Holy Mantle. I mean... Some more HP would be nice, some way of generating spirit hearts, but mostly I want that so that I can take deals with the devil. Uh, we, should, we should explore more before we do anything else. Um, we can do curse rooms for free, we can do... We can take a hit on every room for free, we don't need to worry about our HP particularly, but we can't take deals with the devil unless we pay full price for them. Which means we can take one and still have a chance of surviving. Uh, we might as well take the cash, I suppose. Maybe flight would be good, because we had that before we died as the lost, and it was valuable. Flight is always valuable. I mean, I don't think I need to justify that either. Oh, there's another one! Come on now! Oh, of course, um, with Holy Mantle, you have to use Holy Mantle before you try... I should check for Tinted Drops. Before you try doing the self-sacrifice room, you can't just spend your Holy Mantle charge over and over again. You have to take damage. So there's another reason to have plenty of spirit hearts, is that we need to be able to do damage to ourselves on the 
said rune, the self-sacrifice rune. It's not spirit heart, that's infested. It's not what I want at all. Okay. Okay, still no spirit hearts, still no tinted rocks, no. See, it's got to the stage where I'm not even using my uh, Tammy's head. Why am I not using Tammy's head brimstone? It's the only reason people are still watching the video is to watch me press that button. And I don't even need to worry about whether I put myself in a stupid position, which is probably bad because it means I get out of the habit of putting myself in a sensible position. But I think I've earned the right to be stupid. We found the secret room, so we don't need to do it again. We've completely explored this floor and we're still on 23 minutes. This has been a quick run. It turned itself around amazingly fast. You know, we take Tammy's head just out of principle, but when Brimstone turns up afterwards, you just feel super justified for having done so. Mama Gertie didn't even get a shot off. There's no point not taking this, because we can't take something in here. Again, not necessarily worth taking any of this. It's not flight. It's just less opportunity to play the self-sacrifice room, which is the only opportunity we have to do one more floor and beat everybody else at this game. Which is why we're here to beat everybody else. Uh, apparently that did not open all three. Let's put this here. Do this. Got plenty of bombs, it's not like it's a big deal. Kind of hoping for basically anything else now. And I'm glad I got that key back because seven keys is what we need for the hush lobby. Uh, this room is one of the few that our amazing loadout does not actually help us with. Although we do have holy mantle, so that does help us with it. But I'd already managed to dodge my way through everything before it was a problem. Are you a wizard? No. But... You can just walk over these spikes now. We just go back in that room, pick it up again. No worries. There we go. I can't get that, unfortunately. It'd be nice to know what's in it. Out of curiosity, more than out of any necessity for the stuff that it could have inside it. I'm just going to keep pressing these two buttons, which is left and space. Well, right and space. Okay, I don't know my left and my right. Sue me. Stars card. It's a teleport card, but what do we need to teleport from? A full card. The thing about the stars card is I suspect it has a small chance of getting us to an error room. That's basically all I can expect to get out of it. And that's done. So now we can go to Hush whenever we want. So we've got five minutes to do the rest of this floor and rack up some points. It's hard to imagine that anybody else is in a difficult situation. Anybody at all is in a difficult situation right now. If you didn't take the, the broken arc, well, you're probably dead by now. Which I expect some people to have done. You know, it's not it's not a, an amazing item, but when you're the lost, I think you probably just hedge your bets with it. Is this worth anything? Ooh. I don't know. Is this good? I don't know. That's a very good question. What does this do? I think it involves you getting hit. I'm gonna not... <laughs> I'm gonna not. I think it re-rolls stuff if you get hit or something weird like that. Which is, you know, interesting, but not necessarily valuable. And I think we're getting a lot of um, red hearts out of Serpent's Kiss, which is kind of a pest because I was hoping for black hearts. It's all the same to you. Uh, nothing in this room. There was things there, so that's not a secret room. I do want to find the secret rooms. We found the super secret room already, yeah. Surprised we haven't found the secret room yet. I've looked in the obvious places. A boss trap room. Glad I came in here. Uh, lost Holy Mantle already, but that's okay. Failed to charge Brimstone. That happens sometimes. There's a black heart. Well, it's really difficult to see the difference between red and black hearts when you have my affliction. I saw a post on Reddit today where somebody couldn't find a black heart and half a red heart had dropped on exactly the same tile as black heart so it looked like a half red half black heart does this do anything for us i don't think so no. i couldn't see it <laughs> i was looking at the image for ages i ended up reading the comments just to see what all the fuss was about which is a problem for me buttons whatever excuse me leave me alone thank you there is a battery knocking around, but we don't need it. Oh, we might need it, actually. I would rather have the battery charged up. It's not like we're hurting for time. Go and get the battery. Make sure we can have at least one Tammy's Head Brimstone during Hush. And then we can hope that somewhere 
in this crazy old mixed up world universe there's a way for us to get to the dark room ooh don't walk into that walk into this perfect uh, we have a stars card I don't really think it can help us again maybe an error room could be valuable oh infamy and able well that's, that's a carry right there Got enough HP that I think we can manage. Oh, that's damage upgrade straight away. But I think we can manage. Um... <laughs> what is this shit? I think we can manage hush without too much problem. Let's check our charge time. Our charge time has gone up immensely. But then again, our Tammy's head brimstone is going to be outrageous. So, and this will let it charge during the thing. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I'm very happy with that. Now we have Tammy's head brimstone multiple times during the hush fight. Are we ready for this? You know it. 883 damage per tick. And we've got Fate's reward. Well, Fate's just Fate, I think. Hanging out behind us. If we can get it in range, it will do some decent damage as well. That's pretty good. Right, a few Tammy's head charges. Yeah, look at that, recharging. I'm glad I was not wrong about that, because I was somewhat counting on it. Now, bullet heli. Bullet hell. How do we, uh... How do we ensure that we take as little damage as possible during bullet hell? Oh... Well, first of all, we make sure that we've actually charged Brimstone before we fire it. Second of all, we try and use a cube of meat to block some shots that are otherwise likely to hit us. Third of all, we just get the fight over as fast as possible. As quickly as possible. We haven't got um, Spoonbender yet, which is upsetting. Very upsetting. I was hoping to have it by now. It would certainly make short work of these flies. Uh, hush, hello. Do some more damage there, that's perfect. These are the sorts of things that could give us a good supply of black hearts as well. Just based on Serpent's Kiss, that's all I'm thinking of. I think that's how it works anyway, just an enemy has a chance to drop something for you. Oh, we're doing so well. Haven't been hit yet, but it's, you know, it's not unheard of. We're not out of the woods yet. Are we even safe here? Yes. Careful, though. Excellent, excellent. This is one of the harder waves because there's just a shitload of stuff on the screen at once. Please pop up so I can damage you. Thank you. And Fate can do some damage. And I think the next time his headshot should do it. Uh, no. Okay. Make a liar out of me, game. Fine with me. Really trying to make sure that we've uh, charged up, but actually that turned out we've done it, so that's me told, I guess. Let's go up. Fingers crossed for a sacrifice room on this floor, because we actually just did hush without being hit. Uh, possibly we got hit, but Holy Mantle saved us. But as far as I'm concerned, we didn't get hit. The Devil card just damaged for a, for a room, so... Uh, wait. Is that a Devil card? Yes, I think so. The Devil card is the Book of Belial effect for one room. The Death card is the Necronomicon effect for just one room. Right, good. We have got our Isaac trivia down pat. Well, here's the end of the game. Half an hour, not bad. I like to keep all my runs to approximately the same length of time, except for that one hour-long fucking run that literally took forever. I know I said it took an hour and then literally took forever. Uh, I guess allow me some poetic license to talk shit. Now let's go and find a self-sacrifice room. I know I have a habit of calling it a super sacrifice room. That's because Northern Lion doesn't call the super secret room the super secret room. Because he's a dick. So I keep wanting to say super secret room every time he says second secret room. And now I've got the hang habit of saying super sacrifice room every time he says that. It's it's outrageous. Uh, okay, this is this is some stuff. I mean, I guess if we're going to find a self-sacrifice room, then having one of each of these is going to be brilliant. So we'll use these each. And then we'll use this once and see what we get. If we get a battery, which we didn't, or if there's a battery on the floor, we can come back to this and use it to sort of generate a little bit more health. But that's only going to be relevant if there's a self-sacrifice room, which the game is not being forthcoming about giving me. And if we could get it done before everyone goes to sleep, I and they will all be grateful. Please. 
Careful. See, that's a good use of Holy Mantle. Just let explosions explode you. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> See, I'm used to walking into a room and pressing spacebar. If there's nothing in the room, there's no point. Retro vision. Well. Okay, good. We resolved that one easily enough by just beating the shit out of the room anyway. Come on, then. Oh, please let there be a self-sacrifice room in the one floor where I wanted there to be one. It's not like we could have done it before the hush fight, because we needed to do hush. Right? That's a... It's a strong part of the, the the daily arrangement, is that you do hush, you do boss rush, and then you try and do a self-sacrifice room. But it is not going to be the case, unfortunately. Maybe a secret room here? Nope. Can't think of a way that we could possibly get out of this floor. It's not imperative. I think we put down a strong run anyway. <laughs> I think Abel <laughs> just beat up to... Oh, Abel, carried. OP, nerf Abel, man. Is that room done? Die faster, please, monstro. We're all on a schedule here. So I find the uh, secret room is probably here, right? Nope. Got plenty of bombs, we'll just put them everywhere. Here. Yeah. Can this take me down? Might as well give this thing the rest of our keys and see if we get something decent out of it. Not really decent. Not really decent. Invested. The only thing I can really hope for now is a telepill that accidentally takes me to an error room and then allows me to go into the chest, I suppose. Where's my card gone? You're not helping. It's up there. Right, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my stars card. This is my last hurrah. If we can't get anything out of the stars card, then we are spent. Nope, nothing. Just a couple of rooms across. Okie dokie then. Well, that's the end of this run. Unfortunately, we did not manage to get any further. We didn't manage to cheese the game into giving us an extra floor, which is probably what some people did manage to do somehow, and I couldn't imagine how. Uh, but there's the end of that run. 41,000, nearly 42,000. 313th is a good score, but I would very much expect uh, some very high scores. I'm looking for the 50,000s, somewhere near the top. Let's uh, sort by globally in your own time. That's just me. I'm the only friend I have. Looks like, to be honest, legit, it looks like 50,000 is your cap. Maybe a couple of people managed to get an extra room or did really well somehow, or cheesed the game and got bored generating items. I don't know. We did really well. 313 is good for us, especially for a lost run. So thank you for watching, and do come back next time if you want to see me do just as well tomorrow or possibly come 7,000th. If either of those entertains you, then you're in for a treat.